And let me just get my card, which is back yeah. here. Um, this is a wood walking stick that we have sold 14,000 of these over the last decade. Here's the, the kicker, is that every one of these has been made by Michael or his son. Handcrafted. Thank Unbelievable. You. Thank you. So great to have you Thank here, you, Michael. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And you too. And your last name is said yes. how? It's a Vignoles. Vignoles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Michael Vignoles. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to yeah, have you thank here. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is an actual walking stick that you that can use walkings. to walk with, right? That's correct, yeah. An invention it, of mine. What is it made out of? It's made out of rosewood and it's got four patterns on here similar to the iron stitch. Uh -huh. Like in your sweater there. I'm going to hold that very them, still. Yeah, when I carve them out. Do have an extra one? I don't know if we have an extra one, yeah. but I'll hold this real close for the yeah. uh, camera. A, so up here, what's this? It's a pattern similar to the Ar an iron stitch. I live beside the Iron Islands. Uh, uh, you know, they're out in the bay there. I live yeah. in the Clad area in Galva City. Oh, you do? And, uh, they, they used to have an old stitch like that one time there. Yeah. And then you've got the Clad ring here on the, the brass part. We'll, we'll show you that in a moment. Uh, I just want to show that at the bottom, there is a, a piece of rubber yeah, at the bottom, so you get slip, good... A really good grip on it. It's a very large mm -hmm. surface area. And if I should ever need to shorten it, could yeah, I? You can indeed. You can take off the rubber there and you can cut it and um, yeah. put the rubber back on again. Okay, and excellent. you can replace the rubber as well. Let's take so a can. look up here. First of all, it has Michael's name on it, and it should because he made these. But then we'll show you. This is all brass right there. And what did you do here? It's a Tlada ring because I'm from a place called the Tlada in Galva City. And that's my trademark, the Tlada. The heart and hand ring, you know, love, loyalty and friendship. Yeah. And so I had to put that on it. I couldn't miss that part. So and then couldn't. all of this gorgeous rosewood at the top. And yeah. tell me a little bit about the handle. Yeah, I made the handle in such a way that uh, you've got, uh, your hand won't slip off it. You know, there's two little grips there. So you have a nice feel to it. You have a really good, strong <laughs> grip. Yeah. And, and it steadies it up a lot. Too. Okay, so I want to tell you, it's 37 inches from top to bottom. Mm. And then, of course, you've got the little handle, which here is probably three to four inches on that. Okay. But the surprise is what's inside. I'm going to hand that back sure. to you. Show them <laughs> well, what's inside and how to get that out. Sure. What you do is you actually unscrew the top like this. There's a threaded portion on the top and you pull out the penny whistle. Uh, and the, you made the penny whistle. <laughs> I tuned the penny whistles up. Yeah. I make the brass tube and, and tune the holes. Wow. And um, because I played, I would play this uh, whistle in a session if I was playing music. Uh -huh. It's a really good quality sound. And he, by it. the way, is, I should tell you, Michael's very, you know, hu humble, but he's actually an amazing musician. He's been playing drums and uh, the penny whistle and probably Ill Ill other Ill instruments as well. As well. Ill Ill but yeah. you ready to play? Sure, man. Okay. If you clap your hands, I will. Maybe I We'll clap our hands with yeah, you, right? Sure okay. Thing. Just leave this you out of my start hand for a moment. We'll, yeah. we'll clap along. Part. Yeah. So okay. um, I play a basic reel. We say like a like that that kind of timing, you know. Lovely stuff. All musicians are. So neat, and mm. it just hides. It hides literally inside yes, here, indeed, right? Yeah. It goes right down in there to the bottom. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and then you and the just twist on. on the top. Yeah. I'll let yeah. you do that. Yeah, it's good. That is like so that, yeah. great. How many of you know how Thank to play you. the penny whistle? Anybody? Anybody in the audience know how to play the penny whistle? So when we get this home, how do we learn how to play the penny well, whistle? Well, we've got instructions with it as well. They're, okay. uh, they're here, oh, actually. Hang yeah. on. Let me grab those. Yeah, sure. I want to show everybody. Yeah. So We've got an instruction sheet. And okay. It, it will oh, show you yeah. the fingering the fingering for the how to play this hang there. On a it's great for the grandkids as well if they come <gasps> along and you teach Good them a note. Yeah. Pull the, the whistle out and you can play one note today, maybe one note tomorrow. So you can teach the music that way. So all the finger chart is there and a few basic instructions are there as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so no excuse. You know, I used to play the flute oh, with really? the band. Yes. Cool. And um, so I always have thought it would be so fun to try to learn how to play the penny whistle. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like if you play a flute or maybe even a clarinet, mm, yes, it's yes, probably yes. similar to absolutely. that. It's very, very similar actually. Yeah. yeah it's and it's in the key of D, right? In the key of D, yeah. Wow. Most of the musicians play it today in the key of D. What got concert. you started? 
started in, you invented this. I mean, nobody yes. else makes yeah. this that we know of. No. And you and your son make every single one too, of yeah. them. It's a family run business at home in the Clada. Yeah, but and, what um, got you started with it? Uh, with the stick, well, I'm, I've always made woodwork and things anyway. Ah. Um, but I came up with this idea because when I go for a walk in the prom when I was a little boy, yeah, the, most of the people would have a stick like this sitting on the seat and yeah. they would say, go back and get the penny whistle from me, will you? And I'd run back and, and I'd only come back and they'd send me back again, someone else would arrive. <laughs> and they'd start a session on the prom, you know, mm -hmm. the promenade. So I'd say to myself, 30 years later, maybe I'll get a, a walking stick with a whistle in it. <laughs> So you well, don't have to run back and forth exactly. to home. <laughs> that yeah, is so indeed, yeah. terrific. I love nice it. Idea. Well, let me just tell you, this is really like a one of a kind because every single one of these has been made by hand by Michael and his son. And I'm telling you, here's the thing. Literally, when we get done with St. Patrick's Day today, they start working on next year's order and we can only get as many as they can make in one year so you want to make sure you get this while you can we've sold 14,000 over the last decade or so they are spectacular whether you use it whether you just have fun with it or you learn how to do the penny whistle michael thank you thank so you. much you are terrific thank you, thank you so very much great to have thank you. you here thank you well by the way Fishermen out of Ireland. It's a brand new company coming to QVC. They're bringing their knitwear in a whole new look, a little more contemporary look. And take a look at this video because it gives you a little idea of that area of Ireland.